Hi, it's Jen Murphy. I'm on a Zoom meeting with myself. And I decided to start doing a vlog, I guess it's called, video. A bunch of people keep telling me that I should be doing a podcast, which I already do a podcast with Christina Walkershaw, Jill and I. Uh, I really don't want to do one by myself. Um, I think there's a million podcasts out there. I don't think that I have a lot to say. And I know people say just put content out, but I don't really want to put something out just for the sake of putting something out. But during this pandemic, I have been uh, really enjoying doing Zoom, maybe doing the podcast via Zoom and even doing some Zoom comedy shows. So I think rather than do a podcast, I enjoy talking to myself in the computer and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so if you like it, um, it'll be a little different than the podcast that I do because I'll probably go into maybe some more serious conversations. We tend to keep it extremely light and goofy and silly on Jill and off. Um, I won't talk about poop on here. We talk Sorry if you listen. Um, anyway, I am. I feel like there's some hope now. We've opened up our outside restaurants. Um, I just found out they're going to allow live entertainment. So that gives me some hope that we're going to be able to perform again outside. Because in December, it was really starting to feel like completely hopeless. And you know, I'm sure everybody's gone through a lot of depression and the depression in December was pretty bad. Um, not because my life is bad right now, but the thought of being in a profession that is possibly not returning, at least for many years. And I'm in Los Angeles, in case that was not known. So we're even further behind. But um, right before the pandemic hit, I had just started doing cruise ships which I know some comics don't look highly on cruise ships, but they pay really well and they're actually really fun and uh, a lot of work. So um, it was actually helping me become a better comic because there's so many shows. Anyway, I don't need to explain that to you, but I, I had just started doing cruise ships, which I would have made the most money that I've ever made in my comedy career so far. And I think that's over. <laughs> So the thought of just not knowing, um, I mean, I'll always be able to perform, but not knowing when or if I'll actually be able to make any kind of real money doing it uh, is really scary and terrifying. So uh, just for now, I'll be talking to you via the computer. Uh, I've been alone in this pandemic, which, um, for me, it's probably better than if I had been in a relationship because uh, I don't think I could have quarantined with somebody for that long because I tend to need a lot of space in relationships. <laughs> um, but being alone for this many months is also not good because human touch is essential and I'm in desperate need of hugs most of the time. Um, it's also like, how do you meet somebody? I mean, I know people that are doing it but I was never into dating anyway. So uh, I've never been on a dating app. So that doesn't help my chances. Uh, I've got band-aids behind me. Um, I, uh, yeah, I've never been on dating app. I've always just kind of counted on meeting people in person, which was very easy to do when I was doing shows. Um, now, I don't know. Like I walk down the street and suddenly every guy has potential. <laughs> I'm just like, he looks okay. <sighs> I've gotten creepy, especially wearing a mask. Cause then I try and show people like, oh, hey, you gotta use just your face. Which is super creepy too. Um, or if I have uh, sunglasses on and a mask, then I try and throw up a wave except it's usually like last minute and kind of awkward. So it just becomes like a <laughs> awkward wave. Um, I'm not good. 
when I meet guys. I don't know how to play hard to get. I definitely come across needy and desperate, which maybe I am, but it's, uh, I think I turn off a lot of people. I'm never the last, no, I'm always the last one to text. <laughs> I'm never the person who just leaves it. I'm always like, I'll add one more. It's not good when you're always the last person to text. And then eventually they just have to stop responding because they're like, this conversation is over. So I tried to make it my New Year's resolution to step back away from texting. I think I've failed a little bit, but I'm doing better than I used to. I'm doing okay. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's my first time. I was doing this more as just a test. I was like, I'm gonna Zoom myself just to kind of test out and see if this is something I should do. So I don't even know if this is going up. I don't have my professional microphone yet. I was also told I need to get my professional equipment because this is going to be my podcast studio, my bedroom. Um, I don't know if I have much else. Also with texting, I feel like now you can't, if people just send words, it feels like cold or angry. Like there's so many people, so many people have gotten into emojis that I almost feel like if there's not one, then I don't understand their feeling that's coming across. <laughs> and then sometimes like I'm in my forties. Do I have to put a crying face to let them know I'm sad? Can I just say, I don't feel good right now. I'm pretty sure people can get it. Pretty sure. I've become addicted to FanDuel during this quarantine. Just in the last couple months, actually. So now every day when I wake up and I have coffee, I spend like 30 minutes making a NBA lineup. I don't know any other players. I mean, I know the famous ones, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron, Steph Curry. I could name a few, but it's fun. I, I highly recommend it. If anybody needs just a little entertainment in their day, it gives you something to do, you know? It's a dollar. You can play for a dollar. I recommend. Um, what else? My mom was worried about me, so she has been asking me to come over her house for dinner, which is cool. I always tend to get just a weird amount of anxiety for like two days and on the drive over, which I don't know why, because it's always fun. I just always end up having these like scenarios in my head when I know I'm going to see parents of them saying something that's going to piss me off and me flying off the handle and yelling at them and then storming out of the house like a child. And it never happens. But, but I figure, uh, you know, I'm somewhat uh, try, and, try and be nice when I, whenever possible. I don't like to cause um, confrontation. I don't like confrontation, tension. So I'm guessing now that I'm in my forties, uh, there's probably years of random weird shit that's built up in my brain that I could fly off the handle about. I think it's important to fly off the handle when you're younger. So that when you get into your forties, you don't feel like you're gonna do it every time you go see your parents. <laughs> I should have been a bigger bitch in my early 20s. And then I wouldn't have all this pent up anger and sadness and uh, anger. <laughs> I get very angry at very small stuff. And I think that's what happens when you don't get angry at the big stuff your whole life. <laughs> like my laundry machine was broken in my building and I was just like, are you fucking kidding? Like I yelled and I'm like, what the hell? it's laundry, who cares? So if any 20 year olds watching this, go out and get angry. 
I did have anger when I was in high school, but I never expressed it verbally. I just used to punch brick walls. That's not a good way of dealing with your anger either. So how long have I been talking? 12 minutes? This is why I can't do an hour long podcast. What am I gonna talk about? Anyway, this is my first one. I think I'm gonna try and put up one once a week. I'm going to be as honest as possible, even though I'm afraid my family might listen. And then I don't know if I say something wrong, whatever. I love you, family. Um, I don't think I'm going to say anything to offend them. I'm just afraid I'll probably say something that will make my mom scared. of. Me. She'll be calling mental hospitals, checking to see what's wrong with her daughter. <laughs> I also need a name. I need a name for my vlog. If you're still watching this after all these minutes and have any ideas, feel free to email me. Look, you can find me on social media. Let's not get too personal. Jen Murphy Comedy on Instagram, except if you're watching this, I'm sure you already know me. So anyway, okay. Cheers.